Apple announced some big news this morning for developers and that they're cutting their commission from 30% to 15%. Not for everybody and not all the time. Uh, and I have some questions. That's what we're going to dive into. So as you can see in the headline, Apple announces the App Store Small Business Program, and it reduces the App Store commission to 15% for small businesses earning up to $1 million per year. So if you earn less than a million, you'll go down to 15% in certain cases. Uh, now, it does kind of sound like you might have to sign up for the small business program or apply for it. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's automatic. It would make sense for it to be automatic just because that's a lot of extra work Apple might have to do when, when they see your revenue. Like, feels like it could be automatic. But anyway, uh, here's the, the crux of things. The new App Store small business program will benefit the vast majority of developers. But here's the key and here's the start of my questions uh, who sell digital goods and services on the App Store, providing them with a reduced commission on paid apps and in-app purchases. Something's missing. There's no mention of subscriptions. And uh, Apple's PR team is not dumb. I, I don't think that was an oversight that they just forgot to include it. So my assumption is that subscriptions will still behave the same, where the first year of a subscription, Apple gets their 30%. After one year, it gets reduced down to 15%. Again, that's just my assumption based on the fact that they made no mention of subscription, right? I, I don't think that was an oversight. And you can qualify for this program uh, if you earned up to 1 million uh, in the previous calendar year. So that's the key there. And we'll, we'll do more details later. They, they cover that uh, at the end of the article, kind of like an overview. We'll talk about that. Uh, but this does launch January 1st, 2021. So your 2020 revenue is what's gonna be taken into account to see if you qualify. And then let's scroll down a bit to the, uh, the overview and when we're gonna get these details. This is a nice quote from Tim Cook about developers. Okay, here's the, here's the nitty gritty. Uh, the comprehensive details will be released in early December. I'm sure I'll do another video like really diving into this because this, this is a pretty important piece of information uh, for developers. But here's kind of the, the overview until we get all that information. So this first bullet point is what we've already said, right? If you've made up to 1 million in 2020 for all of their apps, that's an interesting way to say that. So based on that, it doesn't sound like it's on a per app basis. It sounds like it might take your entire developer accounts revenue uh, into account when seeing if you qualify. Maybe we'll get clarification on that, but the way they worded that, it makes me think it's not on a per app basis. So that's how you qualify. Now here's two uh, interesting details. If a participating developer and again, participating developer, not participating app, and interesting wording, uh, surpasses the 1 million threshold like during the year, the standard commission rate will apply for the remainder of the year. So what that means is, let's say you were under 1 million and then in February, you crossed the 1 million mark, well, you're gonna flip over to that 30% commission for the remainder of the year. However, it doesn't work both ways. This is where they get you. Don't get me wrong. This is great news. Super happy about this. I don't want to complain at all, but this, these are things to keep in mind. Uh, if, you're, if your business falls below, again, the way they word it, if a developer's business, so it means like the whole, all of your apps. So I don't think it's on a per app basis. Again, we'll get clarification. Uh, if a developer's business falls below the 1 million threshold in a future calendar year, you have to stay at the 30% for the rest of that year. Then you can requalify for the 50% the year after. So again, the flip side of that, let's say your business falls below 1 million in February. Well, for the rest of that year, you're still gonna be paying that 30% even though you're making under a million. So that's kinda, kinda where they get you. But the last piece of information I wanna talk about is here. It says the, the standard commission of 30% remains in place if you're making more than 1 million defined as a developer's post commission earnings. So that's good to know, right? You have to make a million after Apple takes their cut. So if Apple's taking 30%, I guess you can make about 1.3 million, uh, you know, so you got a little, little buffer there. But that's the initial details we got. Again, as you saw here, uh, we're gonna get more details in early December. Depending on what those details are, I may do another video really diving in if there's some interesting stuff in there. But that's the overview. Again, great news uh, for the most part, uh, getting a nice little pay bump. And people on Twitter have done the math that uh, you know, if you take your 2020 revenue, add that extra 15% in there, it's really like a 21% uh, increase in your revenue. So that's pretty cool. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.